So tomorrow in my sixth grade math class, I'm going to try to teach prime numbers and prime factorization with a lesson that I got from the R.L. Moore Inquiry-Based Learning Conference at UT University in Austin. It's gonna involve ugh, interlocking cubes. I found some on Amazon where you can get a pack of 100 for like eight bucks. And so I just ordered like six packs through my school. Um, so that should be enough my class of 18 uh, if they just get in groups of three. My hope is that they'll be able to visually see prime numbers and how they are only just to have two factors, one in itself, and also help them understand prime factorization as a result of the activity. Um, so I'm just going through the slideshow that I have that I'll link in the description on my iPad real quick. And these are all the instructions that are on the worksheet that I'll have them, which I'll also link in the description. The different colors are gonna represent different numbers. And when you link the cubes, it's gonna represent multiplication. So my first number is gonna be represented by black. It's gonna be the number two. And we're, not, we're starting at number two because this is gonna represent multiplication. And if I use the number one, then multiplying something by one is not gonna change anything. So start with the number two. Um, I'm gonna move on to the number three. It becomes its own color as well. And then I go on to number four and I ask myself, can I build uh, the number four with any of the previous blocks that I already have? And I can because two times two will give me four. So this interlocking is gonna represent multiplication. So two times two gives me four. Then I'm going to look, think of number five and I cannot create number five out of any of these. So I look at my list to see what my next color is and it is white. Then I think of six. Um, can I build six out of any of my previous blocks? I can. Um, I can do three times two or two times three. Either one, that will create six. Um, then I'm gonna go to seven. Um, I can't create seven out of any of these blocks, so seven will be blue. Uh, then I'm going to think of eight. Okay, eight, I can do two times two times two, or I can think of it as four times two or two times four. Regardless, it becomes three black cubes. That's gonna be eight. And then I can think nine, I can do three times three. If this is two, that's three. Nine's gonna be two threes together, three times three. And hopefully you're beginning to see that our single cubes are gonna be our prime numbers and anything that's not a prime number is gonna be built out of prime numbers. So it's gonna show prime factorization, it's gonna show composite, it's gonna show primes. But let's go ahead and see how the kids do with this, if this clicks, if it doesn't, and if there's anything that I'm gonna need to change. I'm gonna give you 90 seconds to play with these, build whatever you want, and then have a flat back out, all right? Represents two, and what does this represent? Three. Three, okay. How do you make four? Don't get rid of your two, though. Okay, so six, three times three? Yeah. What's three times three? Three times two. Do you agree? Yeah, because two times two is four, and four times two is eight, and eight times two is sixteen. How did you guys make six? How did you build ten? It's like, um, it's called the factors, like the numbers that can be multiplied to make it, and the only numbers that can be multiplied to make it are um, itself and one. How did we visually see that with the cubes? Well, if you could make with the other cubes, you would just do a yeah. new cube. Was six its own color? Um, no, it was not. What was it? What was? How did you build six? With a three block and a two block. Okay, can you do a little tree that goes three times two? Summarize it to me. Prime factorization of twenty-four is um what. Um, numbers you have to bring together to make um, the numbers that add up to 24. When did you stop breaking it down? Once they all became prime numbers. 
Prime numbers are divisible by one in themselves, and but one is itself. Yeah, look at it. Look at my eyes. Is it a prime number, or is it just some what? other weird solitary no. sort of number? Do you think it's prime? Yeah. It makes sense to me that like the two block and the three block and the six block mm -hmm. and things like that, and that was fun for me. I feel like if if the blocks we could like write our numbers on them because it was kind of confusing after you got like a ton of numbers and then you didn't know what any of them were so you had yeah. to like count them. Yeah. So I just got out of my math skills class. Um, it went fairly well with the prime factorization and the prime numbers. I'm wondering if they understood it because of the amount of background knowledge it had, um, or if the activity actually illuminated some of the concepts and that they were coming away with a deeper understanding. I think for a good amount of it was the latter, uh, because I had students that did not know what prime factorization was. There's a truck, it's loud. Once I started asking questions like, okay, if you had to build this number, how would you build it? What colors would you use? That was starting to click. And then they're realizing each color is its own prime number. So I am hoping they made that connection. Um, we're gonna do a little bit more kind of just uh, cut and dry problems next time where it's like, can you identify whether it's prime or composite and how do you know? Uh, as well as just doing prime factorization trees for maybe large numbers. Let's see how day two of prime numbers and prime factorization works out. Let's look over here what we did. I think my biggest holdup with doing stuff with manipulatives is because half the time I feel I don't make, they don't make that connection or I don't lead them to make the connection between the concept and the manipulatives that we're using. When they were doing the prime factorization, I felt it was kind of forced in sh showing them, hey, how are the connection blocks connected to the prime factorization? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome, you guys. You guys gonna be in the vlog? <laughs> I, am the vlog. I am the vlog. I think the biggest reason they weren't able to make that connection was because one day we did the blocks and kind of talked about it a little bit, and then the next day the blocks were gone and we kind of just went to the numbers and there was no like you can't they couldn't see it so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to give them part of the sheet where they're gonna either color code it where they show a visual of the block so they can refer back to it um, or even just writing like two blocks on top of each other I think that'll help bridge the connection between the visual piece of what we we're doing in the first place and actually doing the prime factorization um, on paper with factor trees and everything <laughs> I'm making a movie. It's all about me, yeah. I'll send it to you when I'm done. <laughs>